there. Thank you for stopping by. Oh my word. Can I just ask you, have you seen these? Mm -hmm. This is a pumpkin wreath form. Pretty amazing, right? Boy, oh boy, do I have some DIYs in store for you using these. I'm hoping to help bring you some inspiration to bring that fall and harvest feel into your home this holiday season. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let's do some fall and harvest DIYing. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. When you see these, I'm thinking you might wanna pick up more than just one. For this first pumpkin, I'm gonna be using this thicker yarn. This is one I had in my stash. You're gonna to wanna to do it with two strands at a time. And I'm gonna take these strands and I'm gonna weave it in and out and around each of the wires of the pumpkin. Ask me how long these strands are, I really have no clue. I'm actually keeping the yarn connected to the skein and I'm using the piece that's on the outside of the skein and the piece that's on the inside so I can do this two strands thick. So again, as I do this, you can see that I am wrapping the yarn around each of the wires. I'm not tying it in a knot. I'm just wrapping it around the yarn, then going to the next wire, wrapping it around that one until I've gone the full length of my pumpkin. Once I've fully gone across, if you take the ends of your yarn, you can kind of tug on them and tighten up that row. When cutting the yarn after each row, I left just enough yarn so I could flip my pumpkin over and hot glue those ends to the back so it doesn't come unraveled. You see me going on to the second row here and really this is gonna play out the same way for every row after this. The one thing I will say is that when you are doing this, you wanna get the row you're working on as close to the row above it as you can so that way as little of the wire wreath form shows it may take you about an hour to do this, I'm not gonna lie, but this is one of those projects where you can sit on the couch, you can put your pumpkin wreath form on your lap, and you can just weave away watching whatever great movie it is that you feel like watching. I personally will watch a Hallmark movie because I love Hallmark. You choose your movie and weave yarn on your pumpkin wreath form. And with the magic of video, just like that, Look at that, we are just about halfway done with this. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep watching my movie. This yarn, it's not very expensive. You can get it at Walmart for fairly inexpensive. You'll see around that outside edge, I did add a piece just to cover up the edge. For the stem, I'm gonna use some sticks that I found in my front yard that fell from a tree. Taking some wire cutters, I'm just gonna cut them to size here to the size of the stem up there I wanted to add just a bit of a rustic feel to this. And I feel like you can do that by using things like sticks. I'm sure you've got a tree or a bush. It's about that time. So just take a couple branches off of it. You'll never notice and add it to your DIY. Right? It looks cool, doesn't it? And we got it in our front yard. Have you seen these new fall floral picks at Dollar Tree? Of course you have, everybody has. This is going to add the perfect pop of color that this DIY needs. I just love this blue. I was waiting to incorporate it into a DIY and this is just the perfect one to do that. So I'm gonna use the leaves on it, a couple of the pom-poms. Since this is a fall DIY, I feel like fall screams raffia instead of twine, but raffia? It can be kind of a pain to work with, right? It's unmanageable, it's hard, it's stiff, it's bent. How do you even make a beautiful bow out of raffia when it looks like this? Easy, soak it in some water, it'll straighten right out. Look at that. Set it in the sun, you're good to go, and look at the raffia bow that I have made for the top of my modern rustic pumpkin. Is that even a thing, modern rustic? Yeah and you're gonna wanna add some of those berries too. And this here is my first pumpkin DIY using those pumpkin wire wreath forms that you're gonna wanna get more than one of at Dollar Tree. This new orange tool with the white speckles, 
is everything. I'm kind of obsessed. I picked up three of them for this DIY. This DIY is very similar to that of the yarn one that we just did, only it's not because we are simply going to just weave the tool in and out of each of the wires and hot glue the ends to the back. Now when doing this, you are gonna wanna use a low temperature hot glue gun so you don't burn the heck out of your fingers. Now, another tip when doing this, every row that you do, you're going to alternate it. So on the wires that you went under, you're gonna go over. The wires that you went over on, you're gonna go under. So that way it will cover up more of, I guess, the wire form. So you can see here on this row exactly how I'm doing it, it alternates. Again, as you do this, when you can pull those edges and make it tighter, and as you do it, you're gonna wanna push that tooling up as close to the row above it as you can get it, because it's just gonna add to the look of this pumpkin. Like I said, I used three spools of this tool. There are so many different colors that you can really get creative with. I was feeling the orange. So you can see here just how it's looking. And as you do each row, you are going to wanna finish it off with the hot glue and hot glue it to the back. I know, right? Now you see why I'm obsessed with this tool. I love it. I also picked up a couple of the green burlap leaves. Are these green or brown? I felt like they were green, but they're coming across brown. Nonetheless, they're looking amazing with this orange, and I did do a twig stem on this one as well. I didn't show it. It's just gonna add to that rustic feel. If you wanna add burlap, if you wanna do it with twine, you can do that. But I love adding just a bit of the outdoors to it. And this one too, I finished off with a raffia bow because I straightened it already, so why not? And look at the outcome. Even though the wire from the form shows, I feel like this is such a fun piece to display this fall. Wire cutters are the way to go for this next DIY because you need to cut through the wire. You can do it either on the top or the bottom of the form because we're gonna add some of Dollar Tree's wood beads to this. Dollar Tree's got square and round ones. You're getting a lot on these strands for $1.25, so it's a pretty great buy. I don't need the string, I just want the beads. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the beads from the string because these beads, they're gonna go on each of the wires on the pumpkin form. How fun is that? Now I'm alternating between the square and the round. Why? Because I'm using what I had in my stash. I really don't wanna buy anything extra that I don't need. I just wanna use up what I do have to kinda of cut down on cost. And I tell you, when I purged my garage and cleaned all my craft supplies out, I really found things that I had been looking for that I could never find, so now I have the chance to use them. I will tell you that using the beads at Dollar Tree that come on these strands is definitely the way to go because it took one strand per wire piece on the pumpkin form, if that makes any sense. And so I had a total of 10. I had five square, five round, and I had some left over. And so once I go ahead and strand the beads onto the wire, you are going to wanna hot glue the tip of the wire to the top. And I found that just by hot gluing the bead, the last bead to the wire, that kind of did the trick and kept it in place. You may recognize this fabric. I used it in my mystery box challenge. I have a ton of it. It was a dollar a yard, I couldn't resist. I cut several eight inch long strips by two inches wide for this next step. Now I will tell you that, um, well, you'll just have to wait and see, Never mind. I cut several of them. With these strips, I thought at the time that it was going to be cute to wrap it around the outside of, I guess, the beaded part of this form. I kind of wanted to add some color. I thought it would give it kind of that country quilted rustic look. And so just by, I guess, folding the strip in half and pulling the tails through the loop is how you can easily tie fabric strips onto a wreath form. And so I really had this vision of what I thought it was gonna look like if I put these strips along the whole outside of the form. You can see it kinda looked cute, but I was feeling like, gosh, these are kinda long. I'm not sure if I'm feeling it. 
once I got it done, I was like, okay, do I like this? I was trying to convince myself. I decided to go ahead and go on with my project. The stem, it needs to be burlap. Have you seen these burlap rolls at Dollar Tree by Crafter Square? It is a great quality burlap. So I cut a small piece and just decided to hot glue it, wrapping it around the stem itself. This burlap, well, it makes for the perfect rustic bow to add to the base of this stem. I'm gonna say that this is a cute piece, but it doesn't look like a pumpkin. I feel like the fabric was too long. It took away from it. It, it just looks like I don't even know what, but it doesn't look like a pumpkin. So I am not afraid to say that this was not a winner. So I went back to my craft room because I didn't want to scrap this DIY. I figured instead of scrapping the whole DIY, I'd scrap the fabric. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the long job of removing each of the fabric strips. Really, it didn't take all that long. You can see that it's coming off pretty quickly. And since I had a couple of extra strands of beads and some leftovers, I decided to just go ahead and hot glue these beads to the outside wire there. Why am I hot gluing them? I'm hot gluing them because if you cut the wire even more, it's going to really jeopardize the integrity of this wreath form. And so I figured the easiest way to do the surrounding wire would be just to hot glue the beads on and because I had more round beads than I had square beads, that's what I'm going with. And there we have it. The beads stayed on pretty well. I did flip it over to the back side and reinforce the beads a bit more with some hot glue along the edge of the wire. Let's take a look at the before and after. Oh yes, I am much more happy with it now. I'm not afraid to go back and try, try again to get a DIY to look the way I want it to look. Sometimes they don't always turn out the way I envision them. For this next DIY, yep, this is a Dollar Tree poster board. That's what we need. Have you seen these plastic window decor pieces that have a suction cup on them at the top? Pretty cool. I was loving the design. Flipping it over on the back side, I'm going to use some of Loctite's spray adhesive. This is a repositionable spray adhesive. It's going to work perfect. Dollar Tree's got a spray adhesive. I guarantee you it'll work for this. I'm going to add here my window plastic decor piece, yeah, onto the poster board. I'm using poster board because it's gonna give it stability. If you wanna use cardboard, you can. It's just thicker and harder to cut through, and I'm really just kinda of trying to save my wrist. Using a dry erase pen, I'm gonna go ahead and trace the outside of the form. Why am I using a dry erase pen? Because it'll erase off of the plastic image when I'm done. A bit of a tip, when you're cutting something like this that you traced, when I traced it, I traced along the outside of the wreath form, which means that what I traced is going to be a couple centimeters bigger than the wreath form itself. So when cutting it, you either want to cut directly on the line or right inside the line to get a perfect fit. The image wasn't quite big enough. There were a couple of spots on each side here where the white poster board was showing. So I just took some of the scrap pieces from the outside of the image that I cut off and just did a bit of patchwork. It's not gonna show. I feel like it would have showed more had I left the poster board. And so just doing the patchwork, I think it's just gonna kind of blend in and nobody's gonna be none the wiser. I found the easiest way to attach the image to the wreath form itself was to do it in the spots where the wires come up and around and meet the frame of the form. These wreath forms are kind of warped and so if you try to attach the full frame to the image, it didn't really stay and it kind of warped the picture. So just do it on each of those tips where the wires meet the frame and your image is going to look perfect. This here is a thicker cord that you can get at Walmart for about $3.98. You're getting a hundred and what is that, 35 feet for about $4. It's a thicker twine and sometimes you just need a thicker twine, like in this case. I thought it'd be fun to cover up the wire with this twine, kind of giving it that rustic feel that I love. If you don't want to add the twine, you don't have to, but 
Again, I'm looking for that rustic feel, that rustic fall feel, and I think that this is a good way to do that and to disguise the wires themselves. And it is best to cover the framing of the pumpkin form after you've done the wires because then it kind of disguises the ends of the twine that you covered, I guess, those outer wires with. And again, on the top, because I love just the feel and the look of adding these twigs to the stem. I'm a creature of habit. I'm a creature of repetition. When I like something, I use it. And I love these stems on the top of the pumpkin stem. Dollar Tree's got this beautiful orange wired burlap ribbon that I figured would bring out some of the orange in the image and make the perfect bow for the stem. But to this bow, I wanted to add some of these fun floral fall sunflowers. Say that three times real fast. These are flowers that you can get at Walmart. Walmart's got an amazing selection of fall flowers and they range from 98 cents to $1.98 and up. This was one that came on a pick that was $1.97. The leaves are gorgeous on it. So just by disconnecting it or cutting off all the pieces, you can then add it to something like a wreath and it makes the perfect floral addition to it. I really love those window images at Dollar Tree. I feel like adding it to this pumpkin form really made this a fun fall decor piece. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Dawn, who's bringing to us her creation of a burlap pumpkin. Dawn, I am loving the rustic feel of this piece. Thank you so much for sharing your creation with us today. I don't know that I can pick a favorite. I wanna go out and buy 10 more of these wreath forms because they are so much fun. Wreaths are probably one of my favorite things to DIY. I remember they were always something that my mom had a healthy supply of because she loved switching them out for each of the holidays and seasons. And so I feel like that's where I got it from. I hope you all enjoyed these pumpkin wreath form ideas. If you wanna see more fall and harvest ideas, go ahead and click on that video over there. And this is another one of my favorites that I think you might like. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, because I am. Bye for now, everybody.